Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about properties of logarithms. We're going to expand each logarithm. So, if I was given this logarithm, log of x times y times z squared, okay? Well, first thing I want to do is, so I can expand with multiplication. Since this is multiplication, I can expand that to be addition of each one. So, I'm going to take the log of x plus log of y plus log of z squared. Okay. Log of z squared. Now we're almost done with our full expansion here. The only thing I'm seeing is that exponent, the z to the second power. That second power can come out in front of this specific log. So when I rewrite this now with my final answer here, I have a log of x plus log of y, I would bring those down, but I need to make sure that 2 comes out in front of the log, so 2 times the log of z, which is left, and there we have it. Our final answer here is just log of x plus log of y plus 2 log of z. So let's recap. We're given log of x times y times z, all on the z squared, not all squared, z squared. Well, we can expand the multiplication of both of those to be log of x plus log of y plus log of z squared, makes it not both, but all three. So we've expanded that with multiplication, okay, log of each one. But then that exponent, that squared, by the second power, we need to bring out in front of that specific log of the log of z. This gives us our final expansion. There's nothing else we can do here, which is log of x plus log of y plus 2 log of z. Okay. 